grappling at a retirement home as a burglar breaks through the door. And he's still out there with a senior's debit card. Good evening, I'm Brandy Peterson. I'm Rob McCartney. The man forced his way into the Newcastle retirement home Friday morning, and he moved fast, stealing from an 85-year-old woman. Tonight, she is disgusted and mad, hoping he gets caught before he takes advantage of someone else. KETV News Watch 7's Natalie Glucklich joins us live near 90th and Burt. Brandy, the CEO here at Newcastle, says this crime is disturbing on a number of levels. One, that it happened in daylight in the middle of the morning, and also that someone would be so desperate to steal from the elderly. 85-year-old Estella Sembasili treasures this tradition. Just walking up and down, up and down, saying my rosary. During that walk Friday morning, Estella saw a man at the end of the hall. I thought, huh. Maybe that's a son-in-law or a son. There are people in here all the time. Turns out it was this man, but he wasn't supposed to be there. A security camera catching him doing something to this locked door for about 30 seconds. He didn't have a code, but he still got in. Estella didn't think anything about it until she got back to her room. That's when I picked up my purse. There was no money. Well, I just knew immediately that somebody came in and then I kind of thought, I'll bet it was that guy. The thief stole $60 and her credit card and police think it's this guy seen leaving 30 minutes later hiding his face from the camera. He's a louse. Rotten person. Now at 85 years old, Estella says she's learned a lesson. Always lock your door. There are some people here, they don't trust anybody. I'm not that, but I guess I'm going to have to change. And luckily, no one else here at Newcastle is missing any of their belongings. The CEO says the facility is safe. They have 20 cameras and a security guard on staff 24 hours a day. If you saw anything suspicious or know anything about this crime, call police. Reporting live near 90th and Burt, Natalie Glucklich, KETV, Newswatch 7.